the U.S. Navy conducts shock trials of new ship designs using military explosives over several decades. The full ship shock trials, abbreviated FSST, are carried out to confirm that U.S. warships can continue to meet demanding mission requirements in the harsh conditions they might encounter in battle. Thus, during a four-month FSST completed in August 2021, the first-in-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 withstood the impact of three 40,000-pound underwater blasts released at distances progressively closer to the ship. The explosions were so powerful that coastal seismic stations located 160 kilometers from the epicenter recorded an earthquake of magnitude 3.9, but the ship remained intact and capable of fully performing its assigned functions. Explosion testing of ships is not practiced in the Russian Navy. But something similar to the ship shock trial was experienced by the Russian frigate SKR-731 Nukertimi, which in 2006, while participating as the lead ship in a naval parade in St. Petersburg, almost sank during a rehearsal on the Neva River, having received damage from the explosion of a dummy mines. SKR-731 Nukertimi was a frigate of Project 1135M Burevesnik, according to NATO codification Krivak, with a displacement of 3,300 tons, built for the USSR Navy in 1977. She was the flagship of the Russian Baltic Fleet. And the mine was a PP3 explosive cartridge with an explosive weight of two and a half kilograms. Such mines were usually used to simulate explosions during ship exercises. In this case, the cartridge was exploded accidentally three meters from the side of the Nukratimi. As a result, the ship received a hole in the hull in the engine room area, took on the maximum permissible amount of water, and sank two meters. The piquancy of the situation was added by the presence on board of the commander of the Baltic Fleet, Admiral Vladimir Valuev. It is possible that they planned to explode this cartridge as a salute to the Admiral. After this incident, the frigate Nukratimi, translated from Russian her name means indomitable, continued to be plagued by failures and even tragedies. In 2008, a severe fire occurred on the ship, resulting in the death of a sailor. And in 2012, the unlucky frigate still sank, but at that time it was already decommissioned. The Nukratimi was moored at the naval base in Baltiusk when it came under attack from local scrap metal dealers. They probably inadvertently unscrewed one of the seawater valves. As a result, only the masts and the upper part of the ship's superstructure remained on the surface of the water. Then for several years, there was red tape about who would raise the ship, but by 2015, everything was settled and the Nukratimi was raised, cut up and stacked on the pier awaiting sending for smelting. <laughs> 